So guys, what's going on? We had a fight over the over oh, yesterday morning. Isaac Dogbe, uh, Dogbe um, loses to Emmanuel Navrat Navrat Navrate um, in a 12th round stoppage. Um, now Do Dogbe, I'm, I hope I'm hope I'm saying his name wrong. I think I'm saying it wrong. Isaac Dogbe um, was was wanted to prove everybody wrong that the, the guy, this guy uh, Navrate that beat him right it was going to be revenge and he was going to get revenge on navrate um unfortunately for him the fight ended up playing out exactly um not exactly the same way but you know navrate dominated the fight it was quite a one-sided i didn't watch the fight uh but i, I you know there's a, there was a lot of talk about isaac dogbe that is a very talented very good fighter and his uh, last two fights against navrate he's kind of he's come on stock against a very good fighter a very good very talented uh, fighter, um, I think this guy um, Navrate probably has the beating of of Duog Duogbe. Now, uh, in the fight, I read the article and and it said that Duogbe was hurt several times in the fight. Um, you know, and it looked like it was a dominant performance by the by the I think it was the Mexican Navrate. Um, and there was a lot of criticism of Duogbe because a lot of people said that in the post fight. Uh, in the post fight, he didn't give Navrate any credit. Now, uh, he beat you the first time, and then you then you were saying you you were you were confident that you were going to go out there and get revenge. You don't get revenge, and then you kind of blame the weight and say that I'm I'm too big for the weight and I need to move up, and not giving the Navrate any any credit. So a lot of people didn't take kindly to that. I think once you accepted the challenge, right? you accept the challenge, you know, I think ex you can't make excuses because here's the thing, why ex why accept the fight then? If you knew you were too big for the weight and you were struggling to make the weight, then don't accept the fight because that's stupid. If you think you're struggling at the weight and it's going to hamper your performance, then you don't take a fight, you know? So I think that was a bit silly. So then to blame the weight at the end, especially when you've been saying that I'm going to get revenge, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then you kind of at the end of the fight will say that, I was struggling to make the weight and I'm, I will, you know, I, I'm now going to move up to a uh, featherweight, you know, so why, why did you take the fight in the fir first place? Because I feel like the fans, if you're not 100%, then the fans are watching something that you're not 100%. So you need to be 100%. And when you come out with excuses, like with Pacquiao, for example, when he did it with Mayweather, that was obviously a fight at a much larger scale. People didn't like it because people thought you're going into a big fight where people are paying so much money ringside pay per view, um, and you're and you're not hundred percent. So people didn't take that to take that very kindly. So this is what I mean. I think fighters need to be hundred percent. But I think maybe he just got beat by the better fighter in Navrate, um, and it maybe it was a hard pill for him to swallow where he couldn't give him any credit. Um, but I, I like I said, I, I think. He's probably going to move up to featherweight, which is not going to be any easier. You know, there's a lot of great fighters at featherweight as well. So, yeah, guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What did you make if you saw the fight? I didn't uh, watch the fight. I was watching Julian Williams, Jarrett Hurd. But what if you if you watched it, let me know what you thought of the fight. Uh, and guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.